I don't know if this fly is a spinoff of the nymph or vice versa, but it's the fly for anyone who hates fishing nymphs as much as I do. It's really buggy to say the least. Fish it deep with a lift at the end, and uh, I think you'll be surprised how effective this can be. This version's a winged wet tied on a number 10 Daiichi wet fly hook. Uh, this is from Helen Shaw's Flies for Fish and Fishermen. But you don't have to do this winged version. You could just do some uh, partridge hackle at the, at the front or uh, maybe some mottled hen hackle, similar to what I use in the tail here. This fly can be tied a number of different ways, and you should probably experiment around and find something that works best for you. I love tying wings, so I'll do, I'll do the winged version here. And this is some mottled hen back, I think from India or someplace. I don't know where I got this. Don't tie a big long tail on this one. Try to keep it shank length. This fly is so buggy, it, the body barely matters. We won't do a lot of bodybuilding on this one. I'm going to tie in the uh, tinsel gold side against the shank. And as I wind back, I make sure, this is mylar, uh, extra small. I make sure that I've still got the gold side against the shank. It's very easy to get it flipped, and now you've got silver. And this is a gold-ribbed hare's ear, after all, so we got to keep it gold. Now, when I dub this, I like to have the first part of this I like to make it kind of an abdomen, so I don't want the, the dubbing to be all that buggy here. So I'll pick out these guard hairs. You see those there, and there's some other ones. Um, I try to initially get a little bit of dubbing that doesn't have a lot of guard hairs in it, but it's not easy if you've just cut some stuff off a hair's mask. But I'll try to keep it as as guard hair free, and then as 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 I add more dubbing from about the midpoint on or so, I want it to get really buggy, and I'll add a lot of guard hairs in, or you know, dubbing that has a lot of guard hairs in it, because I do want this to look like a bug. Now, the exception might be uh, if you're imitating a uh, caddis. You might want it. Or some other, um, you know, halgrimites or something, and you're, you're tying a little larger size. Or, or stonefly nymphs. You, you're probably going to want it just to be buggy everywhere. In that instance. So always think about what you're trying to accomplish. This is about what I wanted. In this case, I want this to be like a wet fly with a smaller abdomen and then a bit of a thorax area. And, and in this case, the guard hairs themselves are going are gonna to make up the, dub, the, um, the hackle. There is no hackle on this version. So the legs of the insect will be imitated by the, the guard hairs. I think in a lot of ways this is maybe more effective than hackle. I I really like the the look of this that 
we wind up with. Right now I'm trying to brush everything down the sides and back. And I, I got this one guard hair sticking up that I can't seem to get rid of. Here I'm trying to I'm trying to pinch it down and that doesn't work. Don't want a really long wing on this. And I I don't want the wing to cock way up. Once again though, I, I just can't seem to get it as level as I'd like. But that's all right. The the fly the fly will fish. It's been my experience at fi fishing wet flies. You you need some current. It's I I have not had good success trying to fish a wet fly in a dead still pool or on flat water. But they fish great with some current. That's just my own experience. Your, your mileage may vary on that. I don't know. In Europe, they fish these all the time on lakes and ponds. But I just read somewhere where somebody said if it's, it's a, if it's a very calm day with no waves, you might as well just stay in the pub. Whip finish and uh, cut the butts. We'll just uh, glue this up with just a little bit of head cement to keep the wing from pulling out. It's a fishing fly. We're not going to go go nuts trying to get a perfect head on this. We want it buggy. We want stuff sticking out everywhere. And I really like the look of this. This will fish. And I hope you, you do this one. Have fun fishing it.